Hmm, I'm feeling bored. What should I do? Idea. I'll watch some videos on YouTube. On Bun, there's one boy named Rohan. He received 200 rupees from his father. Then he spent 50 rupees to buy chocolates. Now he's wondering how much percent did he spend or did he spend on Oh no! What happened? I think there's a power cut at my place. Hmm, then how will I watch YouTube? Idea, let me try powering my uh, Wi-Fi router without electricity. Hooray, it worked. As you can see, there is no electrical cable. This is my internet cable. Let me see if I can access internet on my phone. Buying chocolates. Now we have Hooray! I made it! Do you want to know how I did it? If yes, then continue watching. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can power up your Wi-Fi router when there is no electricity at your place. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now I'm going to be showing you the demonstration for hack number one. For this hack, we'll be needing a Wi-Fi router, a power bank, and a step-up converter cable. I purchased this on Amazon and the link is given in the description box below. So the step number one, I'm going to connect the step-up converter to this power bank. Next, I'm going to connect this internet cable to the router. Next, I am going to connect this cable to the router. Now, I am going to switch on this, this power bank. Hooray! The router is on! We made it! Let's see if I can access internet on my phone. Now we have to help the yes. Before that, yes, I can access internet on my phone. Now I'm going to be demonstrating you the hack number two. For this hack, I have done all the same steps except I'm going to be connecting this step up converter cable to the laptop instead of the power bank. Now I'm going to turn on the router.
Let's see if I can access internet. Yes, I can access internet, both on my phone and laptop. Before that, let's have a look what is person. Hello friends! Then, we spent 50 rupees to buy chocolate. As you can see, I'm able to play the videos smoothly. Now we will go through some boring but important technical stuff which will help us to power the Wi-Fi router with a power bank or a laptop. Before you start, please check the power rating of your Wi-Fi router. The rating is usually mentioned behind the router. I am using TP-Link 300 MBBS wireless router. The power rating of the Wi-Fi router is 9 volt 0.6 ampere check the output power rating of your ac power adapter you can find this on the power adapter the power rating on my power adapter is 9 volt 0.6 ampere the centello t 9 volt and 12 volt step up converter router ups power supply cable that i am using is suitable for all 9 volt and 12 volt less than 2 ampere powered Wi-Fi routers. This cable supports both 9 volts and 12 volts. There's a slider on the top. You can use this to switch between 9 volts and 12 volts. This is currently in 12 volts, but my router but my router needs 9 volts, so I will switch it to 9 volts. This shows 9.2 volts, but that's completely fine and it is perfect to use. Word of caution. If your router needs 9 volts, then don't switch it to 12 volts or else you might end up damaging the router. The specifications perfectly match in my case, as the router input and adapter output ratings are 9 volt, less than 1 ampere. Please check the specifications before you try else you may end up damaging the Wi-Fi router. Now for one bonus hack. Alternately, you can buy a Resonate Router UPS. It supports both 9V and 12V powered Wi-Fi routers. The link is in the description box below. You can check it out. Unfortunately, this gives only 4 hours of power backup and you may have to replace the battery every 2-3 to three years. With a power bank, you can get power backup between 12 to 24 hours depending on the capacity of your power bank. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!